Superboy. Now you'll know what it's like to be the little weekly nerd. The thing that was great about getting to write the TV show was it all hinged uh, on the fact that there was a writer's strike right before Superboy began its life. And because Ilya Salkind was new to producing television, he hadn't, they weren't striking against new producers. So the Writers Guild allowed the Superboy show to start up during the writer's strike. And what that did was they said, uh, okay, uh, they're going to hire Fred Freiberger, who was the story editor at that time, and because uh, he was uh, very involved with the Writers Guild, and they said we'll let you use, uh, we'll let you do your show, but you have to hire four new writers, people who've never written television before, a so that they would get their dues from new members, and b just because it was a it was a really proactive thing to say let's get some fresh blood in. You know, and uh, so they they made a deal, and they had done a bunch of scripts, and right at the last minute, they said we're not going to use a couple of scripts, but we and so but we need to get new writers in, and Andy and I just happened to be around, and they probably figured, and you could talk to Elia or or any of the other guys there that uh, they probably figured it would get the stories past DC faster if it was DC guys doing them. <laughs> so uh, so that, you know, it worked out for both of us, I think, because we also, uh, Andy Helfer and myself, we wrote the, uh, the Alien Solution was the first one that we did. And it really introduced the, the concept of a, of a super villain or an alien character, whereas most of the stories in the first season are pretty down to earth and uh, are, are about regular people with Superboy around and helping them, but not giving him a real direct threat that was uh, uh, of the same level as, as he was. So that helped show them that they could do that kind of stuff a little bit, and it was closer to what was going on in the comics.